Hi everybody. In this video, I'm going to look at rigid bodies and uh, colliders uh, so that you can create an animation that uh, is pretty dynamic where things and objects can interact with each other. Okay, so let's get started. I think what we'll do is I'm just going to create kind of like a balance beam. All right, so I'm going to need a cube here and I'll make another one. And by pressing G is the previous command key. You can see I just kind of made a second cube right away. I'll move this up. Now the thing with rigid bodies is nothing can be touching. Things can be really close, but they cannot be touching each other. And one a view that would work really well for this would be the front or side view, just so you can see to make sure that nothing's touching. This would be touching. All right, so there. I got my beam. I'm going to need two different shapes. So we'll start with a cube on one side here. And I'll put this above, making sure it's not touching. And maybe we'll drop um, how about a nice cylinder here on this side. I'm just going to do that. I'll put this up in the air. Okay. So I've got, oh, you know what? I'm going to need a plane as a floor. And I might just touch that down just a bit so I know that it's not touching that cube. All right, we're ready. So I have all the pieces I need for an, anim an animation uh, using rigid bodies. So the first thing we're going to do is get off of modeling, and we're going to go to, I believe, FX. Let's see. Yes. So FX. And up here, you're going to see fields and solvers. Now, first we have to decide what are the things that are moving. Okay, so this, I'm going to hold shift and click the cube. I'm going to hold shift and click the beam. But this piece and this piece, I'm going to not have move. So these are the three parts that are moving. So I hold shift, I click them all, and I come up to fields and solvers. And I'm going to come down to create active rigid body because these are active shapes. Okay. And just, you know, you might get something in yellow here. It doesn't look like anything happened, but on all of these parts, there has been this tag added called a rigid body. All right, next. I'm going to select everything that is not moving that I would want the shapes to collide with. So that would be this piece here, the base of the beam, and I'm holding shift and I clicked on the floor. I'm going to come back up to Fields and Solvers. I'm going to go to Create Passive Rigid Body, because passive objects do not move. <clears throat> OK. And then, one last thing. I need to select everything in this scene. Everything. So I'm going to drag a box, get it all, and I'm going to come up to Fields and Solvers and Gravity. So gravity, everything hits down to the zero, zero axis. You can move this gravity over here for later if you want to delete it. It's, it doesn't do anything. It's not going to render. It doesn't matter where it is in the scene. OK, so now that I have it all set, we can press play. So over here, I'm going to press play. And you can see that when the cylinder drops down, it's pushing the cube up. However, you might have, I have this set up, this little running man, he kind of looks like he's running away from a sprocket. If I click on that, yours might be going very fast. And let me show you how you can fix that. As a default, um, Maya has it on play every frame. So I'm just going to save that to see uh, what that looks like to show you, because this is probably what you're seeing. And for this animation, it goes pretty well. But if you feel like that's too slow, or that's too fast. Uh, if your animation is running too fast, I can pause, rewind, come to the running man again, and change this to 24 frames per second, and save, and then it will look something like this. So if it's a little bit more manageable for you, uh, you can change to 24 frames per second or not. Okay, I'm going to pause and rewind, because I want to change the weights. 
Notice this really isn't that heavy. Everything right now weighs the same weight, a one. Whatever one means, it's relative. It's a one. One pound, one ton, it doesn't matter. So let's change this one to be heavier than the rest. So if I select on this cylinder, I'm going to come to its rigid body. And down here, you're going to see mass. It's a one, as I said. What if it was a 10? Now, this piece is 10 times heavier than everything else in the scene. And I'm going to press play and see what happens. And you can see now, it's able to push it up higher. I'm going to pause and rewind because um, I would, I forget what I was going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to make it a little bit higher. So what if we did 50? I'm going to pause, rewind, and play. Now it's going much higher. You can see it's... If you run out of animation or time in your timeline, notice this is only 120 frames as a default. I'm going to pause and rewind, and I'm going to change this number right here. Not this one, this one, 120, and I'm going to make it 250 and press enter. And now when I play, I will see this animation finish. <laughs> the cube went up so high that we couldn't even see it. So I'm going to knock this back to 20 as a mass. I'll rewind and play. Rewind and play. There we go. So, uh, I would like you to give this a try. Uh, try to set up something yourself. If you have some other different ideas, absolutely go for them. You could do bowling pins. One last thing I do want to say. Um, what if you wanted to add a shape to this animation? This is important. Adding a shape to this. Um, so, let's say I wanted maybe two objects falling. Well, let's try it. I'm going to make a sphere. This is I'm going to add a sphere to the scene. I'm going to put it above. Maybe I'll just look at my top view real quick just so I can see. Although it's kind of difficult, I can press 4 to see my wireframe view. And I'm just going to put this above the cylinder here. And, you know, while I'm at it, I can just make this a little bit straighter so it's on top of the beam a little bit better. And I'll just move, so I'll move this more in the middle and this right on top. Okay. I'm going to push this away from it so it's not touching. And I'm going to fields and solvers create active rigid body. So let's see if this works. If I rewind and play, oh, it's not working. So what happened? I added a rigid body, but the gravity was only added when we selected these other shapes, these shapes, it was not added when this one was selected. So, therefore, this gravity is obsolete now. We're going to, I like to rewind before I change anything, I'm going to delete this gravity, press delete, and select everything in the scene while we're on frame one and make a brand new gravity. Now, this new gravity will take into account any new shape. I've already added the rigid body, so it should work. Let's check it out. Okay. So, as I said, try to set something up yourself. Good luck, and if you have any questions, please post them.